Hey folks, going to show you how to cut uh, metal roofing. Uh, back in the day, about 20 years ago, I was a metal roofer, mainly because nobody in my area knew how to do metal roofing. So, anyway, I started doing metal roofing, and I've got every tool imaginable. I've got a power shear, I've got um, a number of aviator shears, I've got cutoff blades. What I found, um, you need a four inch a four inch pair of snips but you need them offset like this uh, this is a Wiss model M400 uh, the 300 the metal gets in your, the way so this is the pair that you want to buy a word of warning though when you get it dull um, you can't really sharpen these I tried and by grinding off the, the each this edge and that edge so you see those little little serrations right there that's what grips the metal and you see I'm I did some a little bit of work to make these usable again but I don't dare sharpen these if you do sharpen them you can haunt them um, on the flat side but like I said they're they're kind of hard to, sh to sharpen but luckily they last a long time and keep it a good edge um, you want to make sure you wear gloves because metal sharp and it tends to get little splinters in you um, or you can get a good cut. Um, the other thing I would note is, um, you know, these snips right here will work fine in the flat areas, but what you've got to get access to is around the rib. So I'm going to try to show that and demonstrate that for you here real quick. Um, the reason I use this instead of a cutoff blade, which I've done that, the, this actually pinches the metal which is galvanized underneath this paint and it kind of seals it. I've not had any rusting issues on the edge when I've used these. But when I use the cutoff or anything um, that's not a shear, I, I tend to see more rust action, as well as it's a much harder to control that cut with uh, on such a thin piece of metal with like a cutoff saw. But you can use a cutoff um, as long as you don't mind a little rust. Um, for straight cuts, um, you can use a power shear. You can score it with the blade, which is hard. Scoring it with the blade, you have to bend and score. It, it takes about three times. It's really difficult to do. Um, or you can cut it with these, and you get a, an adequate cut. But anyway, let me show you how this is done. Um, I typically, I set this up. You want a set of uh, expandable saw horses so that you can support the metal which is 38 inches wide you want the support um, all the way out let me move this just a touch because i'm worried about this getting in the way so anyway i wear gloves left and right hand you start going around and I'm kind of lifting with my left hand and the metal is going to go down on my right hand side. When I come to a, to a rib, I kind of go around, follow, and then I get back. Sometimes it takes both hands, and it takes a lot of hand strength to cut this stuff, so around those ribs is kind of tough. And there you got it, folks. Um, Anyway, short video. Um, I hope this guy helps uh, any of you guys out there trying to do this metal work yourself. Uh, it's not rocket science, and I think this tool's less than 15 bucks. So you don't need special equipment, and as a matter of fact, as long as you, as you don't mind doing a little bit of hand workout, um, you'll do fine. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe.